Chris Gavin Wijaya is an Indonesian student living alone in Singapore. Eight years ago, at the age of 15, he was troubled by an unexplained illness. It was December holidays and I had uh, severe joint pains on my knees. So I thought it was joint pain, so a uh, bone problem. I had a conversation with my mom over phone with an argument because she insisted that I visit a blood doctor, which doesn't make sense because it was uh, definitely a bone pain. I relented in the end and uh, yeah, the doctor diagnosed it as uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I'm not a very emotional child. I, I don't express my emotional as much, but for my parents, it was utter disbelief. They were crying very often. And there were like a lot of blame as well, like why does it have to be uh, my child? Alan Yeo is Chris's attending physician, specializing in childhood cancers. Prof Yeo is a clinician scientist performing twin roles, cancer treatment and research of such illnesses. We know he has bad cancer. We treated him, his response was poor. We gave him more chemotherapy and got him into remission, but we know he will fail and he failed. Then we have to come with the second line, which bone marrow transplant. We transplanted him, yet he failed again. We reinfused cells from his brother to try to fight the cancer, but we failed again. A revolutionary technique is the patient's last hope. CAR T cell therapy is an innovative form of immunotherapy used to treat certain types of cancer. It involves modifying a patient's own T cells to help them fight cancer more effectively. But the problem was Singaporean patients do not have access. The only way to access it was to fly to the United States for treatment. Now, it cost about 1.5 million to receive CAR T treatment in the United States. Family has to uproot, stay for six months to one year for that treatment. The disruption to treatment is tremendous. It hurt me a lot that every child that I diagnose with cancer, I have to write a letter to refer them because we don't have the ability to cure like they could, right? I wanted to change that. At that time, I wondered, Professor Dario Campana, who is the inventor of one of the most important cars, is in NUS. Why not? We make our CAR T cells in Singapore. It is through funding from generous donors that made this possible. We put in together funding, built the GMP in NUS, and started making CAR T cells for our patients. In March 2018, Chris Kavin Wijaya becomes the first patient to receive CAR T treatment in Singapore. The procedure is performed at the National University Hospital. Chris Kevin was the first of such patients that received the CAR T cells. Now, six years down the road, he's well. Um, Evenings? Yeah. yeah. Market study for go to market. Easier. For NUS, the Endowed professorships are important because it provides additional source of funding to allow the professors to tackle a problem, a wicked problem, a wicked disease that cannot be solved within a short period or with a simple approach. That constant funding is critical for us to sustain this investigation. I've been working on this for 25 years. The whole of my career is looking at one problem of blood cancer. 